I'm Shivani Patel, a member of the Renton Schools community and a volunteer with TechBridge Girls. I'm a data scientist and I love all things STEM and I'm really excited to share this at-home STEM activity with all of you today. This activity was created by the team at TechBridge Girls, a national nonprofit that delivers high-quality STEM programming to girls from low-income communities. You can learn more about their work in the video notes below. We've also created a worksheet that you can download to follow along with this video. The worksheet is available in the video notes and on the TechBridge Girls website at www.techbridgegirls.org. Just look under what we do and go to the TechBridge Girls at home page. Today, I'm sharing a fun activity that will introduce you to package engineering. Most of the things that we buy in the grocery store come in a package that has been specially designed for that product. And the reason that we design packages specially for different kinds of items is to make sure that they stay safe and sound. For example, this egg carton has been specially designed to make sure that the eggs don't bump into each other and break on their way to your home. This bag of chips has been designed so that there's a little extra air inside the bag. And that makes it so that if you accidentally drop the bag of chips, they break less. But could you imagine what would happen if instead of putting eggs in a carton like this, we just dump them into a bag, like we dump the chips into the bag? And what would happen if instead of putting chips in a bag, you dump them into an egg carton like this? It would be a disaster. Here are the materials that you'll need for today's activity. You're going to want some newspaper or recycled paper. I'm using these grocery bags. You're also going to want some cardboard, some tape, you can use any kind of tape that you have around the house, some plastic bags, I have grocery bags like these. You can also use Ziploc bags or whatever you have around the house, some aluminum foil, and you're also going to want your favorite cookie or cracker and maybe even a few extra to snack on while you're working. Before we get started, let's review the engineering design process. Remember, your goal isn't to make the best possible package on your very first try. It's to learn from your mistakes and then try again. The engineering design process is a circle because engineers go through this circle again and again, making improvements each time, always learning from their mistakes. The first step in the engineering design process is to identify the problem. The cookie shouldn't break when it's dropped from different heights. The next step is to brainstorm your ideas. We draw out many different designs to understand how we could protect our cracker or cookie from breaking. Then we pick our favorite design and we build it. Once you have your design built, it's time to test it out. Show off your awesome work. Take a picture and share it. Tell your family and friends about what worked and what didn't work. Think about what you would improve. In the redesign, take your mistakes and learn from them. How can you improve the package for your cracker or cookie? And then finally, repeat this engineering design process as many times as you like until you have the right protection for your cookie or cracker. If I take one of my favorite crackers, and I clear out my space here and I drop it on my counter, it breaks into two. I'd like to protect my cracker from breaking. Now that we've finished brainstorming, I'm gonna choose my favorite design to actually build and try out. For me, I think I'm gonna go with this first one that I it looks like the most fun for me to try out. I now have my completed design. I made a little parachute with a plastic bag and I put a basket at the bottom, almost like a hot air balloon to see if that would protect my cracker from breaking when I drop it. So now it's time to test out the design. I'm going to take one of my crackers and put it inside the basket. And then I'm going to lift it up and see what happens. Well, 
In this case, the cracker didn't break. But if I had to do this again, and remember, we're in the engineering design process, so my goal is to always learn from my mistakes and try again, I'm thinking that I'm not really sure if the plastic bag made any difference. Maybe if I were to do this again, I could just use this box and putting the cracker inside the box with the lid might be enough to protect it from breaking. But that's up to you to work on. If you feel like this was too easy for you, challenge yourself. Try to see if you can do this with less materials. Whenever you're happy with your design, take a photo of it, share with your friends and family, show your parents and show off all your hard work. Congratulations, you've learned something about package engineering. You've also now joined thousands of other girls in the TechBridge Girls community who are exploring STEM and leading fearlessly at home. To celebrate, we would love for you to post a photo of your project on social media and tag us using the handle at TechBridgeGirls on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Make sure that you have permission from your parents or guardians and that the photo is only of your project. Do not include your face or other's face in the image. For more TechBridge Girls at Home activities, visit www.techbridgegirls.org. See you next time.